and welcome to Wake Up America. Even though we cannot see it, the invisible hand of the World Trade Organization, or commonly known as the WTO, impacts all aspects of American society. Unlike America, however, it is not a democratic organization. All of its meetings are held in secret. This non-transparent organization is comprised of 159 nations and restricts America's capacity to act in its own best interest. Other member nations use the WTO's judiciary body to change American laws and bypass American courts. By signing the agreement with the World Trade Organization, the U.S. Congress agreed to concede a major portion of our sovereignty and usurp our democratic legislative process, including conforming U.S. laws, regulations, and administrative procedures to the will of the WTO. Other member nations use subjecting all federal, state, and local laws and practices that affect trade to international review by the WTO allowing any WTO member country to challenge federal, state, and local laws and practices as trade impeding. Taking all trade disputes to the WTO judiciary, giving the WTO final jurisdiction over all trade altercations. No appeal exists outside of the WTO empowering the WTO to enforce its rulings by imposing fines on the United States until we comply, disallowing Congress to change the agreement. The rights of America are subservient to the will of the World Trade Organization. Those who signed this lengthy agreement did not read the fine print or did not have the best interests of America in mind. America's WTO agreement must be amended or completely eliminated. The WTO does not help America. In fact, it is severely hurting our economic stability. It demands the removal of protection from some nations while allowing protection in others. For example, China still uses tariffs against American companies, yet the U.S. is not allowed to put tariffs on Chinese products entering our country. Who elected the secret global government? The only solution for America is to leave the WTO. Until we do, per Article 5 of the United States Constitution, our agreement with the World Trade Organization forced us to accept the WTO as the supreme law of the land because we signed on to its charter. Regardless of how bad it is, we must obey the rules. To learn more about the disastrous effects of free trade, log on to economyincrisis.org.